hello hello I'm Aris from Iconic Fab uh, today I realized uh, the rig project uh, release 1.1 and um, what I want to do I want to make a quick walkthrough uh, what are the changes uh, comparing to the first release and so on and so forth for those uh, which are not familiar with the project yet so what is the rig the rig is essentially the mostly printed DUI helper stand for the testing electronic components. I designed this uh, in uh, taking in mind mostly 3D uh, printer hobbyist builders, but uh, it's quite usable for other interest, interest groups as well, just for uh, essentially testing any uh, electronic components you can mount onto DINRAIL. So you can uh, find this project in printables.com and it's also available in uh, Bumble Up Maker World as well. So quick walkthrough. So I, uh, I put both uh, release versions here so just to make a quick walkthrough to the differences in between them. Uh, the first uh, I think maybe major difference but it's mostly a uh, philosophical one is the idea how you mount uh, main PSU units. So initially uh, my thought process was that uh, they should be mounted on the back DIN rail but uh, as I saw a couple of builds which uh, made already the decision is that uh, probably the bottom one uh, is um, the most convenient convenient uh, rail in place for that so I made a couple of small adjustments uh, for the DIN mounts uh, in uh, uh, as well so what's next uh, let me quickly switch off electronic parts the next uh, and I think this is probably the major change here is that uh, in the release one uh, the idea was to mount DIN rails uh, to the legs through the holes in the legs but uh, as I saw a couple of build videos the general assumption is that uh, probably this is quite painful and also do not add to the quality of design as such so I uh, redesigned this uh, differently so in the release one Point one, uh, you mount uh, din, you mount din rails uh, to the sides. Like uh, that's the most probably essential change here. Another thing, uh, and uh, that's probably also coming uh, as uh, from the ideas from other builders, Digital Dragon, I think was uh, came up with this idea, is that um, uh, let's say for the version release 1 my uh, thought process was that you that uh, you need to put uh, wire through the top of the top of the security housing here but, but then again the uh, idea is that uh, probably different builders have different needs for that and what I did actually I redesigned this housing completely so how it's built right now so uh, it has specific uh, openings here so essentially you can cut, cut uh, them off with the knife and uh, then it gives you the more let's say opportunities to to rotate your wiring in a way as you want. So these are breakable, or you you can just cut them out and and then uh, design the project uh, in a way you want. So that's another thing. It's probably more like a creature comfort, but uh, adds a little bit to the project. Another major change here is that uh, I uh, made some skeletonization. So let's say the first uh, version is uh, requires more filament, and they they release 1.1. The newest one is uh, 
skeletonized in a way that uh, actually it requires less filament for the printing and so on and so forth. Uh, the only part which didn't change I think is the uh, inserts here. So those are the same and if you already printed them for the release 1.1 so you can reuse them and there is no need to reprint but um, unfortunately all other parts are changed uh, what else uh, project I got rid of auxiliary let's, let's say uh, mounts here so this part is skeletonized as well uh, what regards the security housing uh, for the inlet it's a little bit thicker at the moment, so the first uh, one probably was quite quite beefy and uh, in the reality uh, you do not need so much space uh, there and uh, essentially that's it those are probably the most and most important changes for the project and uh, I hope you will like them so model is freely and print files and uh, a step file is uh, freely available for downloading in uh, printables and maker world at this moment and uh, if you are interested in that uh, have fun with your build if you have any comments to add welcome I uh, go through all of them or most of them usually all of them and uh, let's say a uh, CAD file is available for modification in a way you want and if you have any comments and suggestions for the project how to make it better or what you see is working or it's not working for you so just uh, shout out the comments and uh, let's see where it leads to bye for now and have fun with your build